Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. I'm so glad you're here today. Today's story is for Caleb. Hi, Caleb. What do you do with the problem? Written by Kobe Yamada. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it, I scowled at it, I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? Just trying to hide from it. What if it takes away all my things? He's trying to protect all his toys. I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. Oh no. I wish it just disappeared. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. He's trying to hide. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized I had to face it. He's getting ready. He's going to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. There he goes. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. Have you ever had a problem that you thought was too big and too scary and then you found out it wasn't that big after all? The next time, you just need to face it head on. I know you can. I wanna hear all about it. Ask a grown-up to tell me in the comments down below. And I also want to hear about your favorite book so I can read it here at Storytime with Gigi. And until next time, as my friend Les Brown would say, shoot for the moon, because if you miss, you might just land amongst the stars. Bye. Yeah.